Once a year, and in preparation for the Art Basel Fair, an explosion of color reinvents Miami's Wynwood Art District. When, when Basel starts coming, like, you know, everybody wants to be seen. Uh, I'm A-Hole Sedge Blue, and I'm painting a mural uh, outside the Vagabond 14th Street for Art Basel 2011. With the first mural project sponsored by Primary Flight in 2009, the trend was set in motion for what is now Miami's largest artistic movement. You know, there's different variations of what people are doing, but right now it's like a free-for-all. Everybody's trying to get as many walls as possible. It's getting crazier and crazier, and the walls, you know, there's only so many walls. Now, every year, muralists from all over the world come join local artists and compete for wall space to showcase their work. The, the reality is like, I mean, mural painting and graffiti has been around in Miami like for a really long time, since the 80s and stuff like that. People have been getting murals and, you know, all over for a while. Like there's older people that have been doing it for a long time. This is Tasha and I'm Monica and we're the TM sisters here in Miami. Individual artists and individual businesses have been getting their own people and continuing it. So it kind of just, it spread. So people just love the idea. What is like becoming this more like cultural area. But it is not only artists who have shown interest in the upcoming area of Wynwood. Most local businesses have shown their embrace of the mural movement, some by allowing artists to paint the walls and others with some very innovative ideas. A lot of like fancier restaurants and fancier stores are kind of coming into it and it, so it's a transitional neighborhood now. Hi, I'm Isidore and I work here at Las Dias and I just feel that the, the murals in the different buildings enhance the neighborhood. As a business here, we're very happy to have that as part of the whole community here because it does attract people. We have Windward tours that pass by that are dedicated to the arts tours and they go around and show the Windward walls over on Northwest 2nd. We feel that they bring a certain special quality, create the artistic community, it creates a unity with, within the community, and we just love it. We think it's great, you know, and the more the merrier. This was a project um, that was more site-specific, kind of public interventions. We were giving a bike tour of all these different specific sites. We were able to meet like over 100 people. Uh, and most of them are, I think, just kind of general Miami people. So they're not really into the arts necessarily, but they like to be culturally aware. And um, so that was really, really exciting because these people don't usually get the opportunity to learn more about, let's say, a piece that they see or kind of drive by every day. I mean, people went from like before not wanting to have murals on certain areas and then it becomes something that's sought after. I think with any city, the importance of having a tour like this or projects like this one, it kind of brings the cultural side higher. I think they're figuring it's, it's worth their while to invest in this town with all the people that are really dropping major money on it. So it's like, it's like the acceptable thing, you know? After our Basel, we're still here. The out-of-towners go home, their murals stay, and like, you know, we keep on living the city. Although one more our Basel season is over, Wynwood's mural movement does not stand still. Throughout the year, local artists will continue to embellish Wynwood facades, contributing to its overall growth.